In this problem, we're told a 0.53 kilogram billiard ball initially at rest is given a speed of 12 meters per second during a time interval of 4 milliseconds. What average force acted on the ball during this time? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this ball, right, 0.53 kilograms, and it's initially going to be at rest. Then it's going to be hit, right, and during an interval of 4 milliseconds while it's being hit, it's going to go from 0 to 12 essentially. Right, so that's what's going on, and so what we're trying to find is the average force. And the way we're going to solve for it is using Newton's second law. So basically, the average force uh, of a system is equal to mass times acceleration. So if we know the mass of a system, which we do, we're given the mass, which is 0.53 kilograms, and we have the acceleration, what we can do is find uh, the force. So keep in mind, we have the mass, which is 0.53, but we don't have the acceleration. So that's what we're going to need to solve for using the other variables they give us in the problem. So we're going to use kinematics to solve for the acceleration. So we know the initial velocity is 0 meters per second because it starts at rest. So we know this. We know the final velocity at the end of this interval is 12 meters per second. And then we know how long the interval is going to take. It's going to be 4 milliseconds. And so what we're going to do is convert this first into seconds. So basically, there's 1,000 milliseconds for every second. So if you want to convert it, you just divide by 1,000. So basically, it's equal to 0 0.004 seconds. And so what you should notice is we have v sub 0, we have v, and we have t. And so what we can do is uh, solve for acceleration using one of the uh, kinematic equations. So the equation we're going to use is v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So uh, notice we have uh, v sub 0, we have v, and we have t. So all we got to do is just plug in and solve. So v is 12, which equals v sub 0, which is 0. 0 plus a, which is what we're solving for, times t, which is 0 0.004. So dividing by 0 0.004 is going to give us a. So 12 divided by 0 0.004 is going to give us that a equals 3,000 meters per second squared. So 3,000 meters per second squared, now that we have the acceleration, we can multiply by the mass and solve for the average force. So 3,000 right here. So you want to do 3,000 uh, times 0.53. And when you do that, you'll get f equals 5 or 1,590. And so when you do kilograms, right? This is in kilograms. This is meters per second squared. Uh, you get newtons. So kilograms times this is newtons. So force is going to be equal to 1,590 newtons. So the average force is going to be this. And yeah, so this is your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.